Okay, so very valuable question here. I'm going to try to make this very concise, very clean value. Uh, when Whenever students get an image question, they instantaneously freak the fuck out. Relax, okay? We're going to go through this together. Just very cool, very clean. Um, we'll make this easy. So we've got this dude who was found in a park and his GGT is elevated. GGT will spike in acute alcohol intake. So they, this is high yield in particular for psych questions on uh, 2CK. They might tell you 16 year old girl went to a party, she's intoxicated, she's brought into emergency, which the following is most likely to be elevated in this patient. Answer, GGT, okay? Even after the alcohol has been metabolized, GGT can stay elevated for a couple days. So this dude we know consumes alcohol, whether he's acutely intoxicated, whether he, he's got some sort of withdrawal and he's got delirium tremens, uh, he, or alcohol hallucinosis. He could have Wernicke encephalopathy. That's what we get just by looking at this vignette alone. Then we look at the MRI, and even if our neuroanatomy sucks, we say, oh, fucking hate neuroanatomy. This image, this arrow, is pointing to the mammillary bodies or mammillary bodies, okay? So this is consistent with Wernicke encephalopathy. This guy's presentation okay, where he's acutely confused, confusion. So a nema so many things I could talk about at once. Wernicke-Korsakoff syndrome is caused by thiamine vitamin B1 deficiency, and it's classically seen in alcoholics. Alcohol doesn't cause any specific metabolic problem leading to thiamine deficiency. Students get tripped up with that. Alcohol is seven kilocalories per gram. Proteins and carbs, four, fat, nine kilocalories per gram. So people fill up on alcohol when they drink a lot. So they just don't consume enough regular food and they get nutritional deficiencies. B vitamins, water soluble, thiamine, a uh, very common deficiency in alcoholics. Okay. So it's just dietary deficiency. And for whatever fucking reason, B1 deficiency can cause damage to the mammillary bodies in the brain. Okay, mammillary bodies located at the anterior arches of the fornix, which is a bundle of fibers that connects to the hippocampi uh, for memory processing. So now getting back to this question a little bit more concise, Wernicke encephalopathy and Korsakoff psychosis independently. Wernicke encephalopathy, a mnemonic I came up with to remember what you see in it is a cow, like literally a cow, the animal, ataxia confusion, ophthalmoplasia, Wernicke, okay? And then Korsakoff psychosis is classically confabulation, which means which mean, due to retrograde amnesia, meaning you can't remember things from the past. Anterograde amnesia means you can't make new memories. But classic to Korsakoff psychosis, uh, it, pathognomonic to it is retrograde amnesia. You can't remember the past, so you confabulate. You make shit up. You make things up, make up stories, and... The combination of the two is Wernicke-Korsakoff syndrome. And if you get an image like this, or just any question regarding Wernicke-Korsakoff, the mammillary bodies, the mammillary bodies, are the highest yield location for where the damage is in the brain, okay? So that's what this arrow is pointing to. And then you say, but what? I don't get it. What, what's going on with these answer choices, though? This is where this question's a little bit more challenging. In addition to the mammillary bodies, there can also be damage to the, classically, the medial dorsal nucleus of the thalamus, okay? Sounds very low yield, but the mammillary bodies and the medial dorsal nuclei of the, thal of the thalamus uh, classically affected in Wernicke-Korsakoff syndrome, okay? I could have made this question just answer mammillary bodies, mammillary bodies. Kind of would have been too easy, okay? And by all means, I'll make more, I'll make easier questions, but the answer here is just thalamus, okay? Medial dorsal nucleus of the thalamus, and our image is the mammillary bodies. I'm discussing both, okay? Um, we just look at, by the way, the thalamus, some other high yield points for US simile is thalamic pain syndrome. Uh, following strokes, okay? Nothing to do with this vignette right now. Just I'm giving you some high yield points. It's about getting your score up. So thalamic pain syndrome, let's say someone has a stroke uh, six months ago and now they've just got random really uh, really bad pain in, in one of their limbs, okay? Half of their body. It's just the vignette is pain. 
That's thalamic pain syndrome. Answer on the USMLE, just thalamus, okay? Sounds really weird. I'm just giving you some high yield value right now. Uh, the thalamus is also the location that's affected in fatal familial insomnia, which is a prion disease, okay? So we've got like Kreutzfeld Jakob uh, classically and uh, fatal familial insomnia, um, Kuru, okay? Uh, thalamus is the location. Thalamus is a relay sensor, a relay center for sensory. Think of like spinal thalamic tract, right? It's pain and temperature sensation. So that goes through the thalamus. Okay, so it's a relay center, many functions of the thalamus. Um, hypothalamus, uh, classically for USMLE, you just need to know that its role in the endocrine system. So it's going to be producing many hormones that, in turn, will stimulate the anterior pituitary, okay? Or you've got production that will be stored in the posterior pituitary. We can do all sorts of discussion on endocrine, but like for example, GHRH, growth hormone releasing hormone stimulates growth hormone from the anterior pituitary, right? TRH stimulates TSH, uh, CRH stimulates ACTH, GNRH stimulates, L stimulates LH and FSH, uh, dopamine inhibits prolactin. We've got uh, oxytocin, vasopressin, right? So we've got a lot going on. Okay, why don't we do a big discussion on that? Um, that's hypothalamus. Optic chiasm is classically impinged on, and we get uh, bitemporal hemianopia with pituitary tumors. Now, I gave you a distractor in the vignette. I said he responds to officers' questions when they're standing directly in front of him. But if you look at the fucking image, it's mammillary bodies we're pointing to. And the guy clearly has uh, elevation GGT. It's just, it's not a pituitary tumor. Okay, but the optic chiasm is superior to the cella tersica where the pituitary sits. And we've if we have EG prolactinoma, uh, craniopharyngioma, um, the latter in pediatrics, we can get a uh, bitemporal hemianopia. Answer is the optic chiasm is impinged upon. Pineal gland, pinealoma, uh, pineal gland is a small gland that secretes melatonin. It is located in the in a groove between the uh, Hem between the hemispheres of the thalamus, the halves of the thalamus. It's called the epithalamus. It's a groove. So the pineal gland secretes melatonin. Pinealoma can cause a vertical gaze palsy. It's called Paranod syndrome. So it's classically pediatrics, okay? So Paranod syndrome, uh, the kid might not be able to look up or down. Sounds weird. It's due to impingement on superior colliculus. And you just need to know, pin, the only thing for USMLE you need to know about pineal gland, literally, apart from just uh, it secretes melatonin, uh, is involved in sleep, is that a pinealoma can cause paranoid syndrome, which is vertical gaze palsy, and uh, superior olive, choice D. You don't need to know anything about that. It's just part of the auditory relay uh, pathway. Okay, so when we have the uh, auditory nerve picking up sound from the ear, and it's going to relate to the auditory cortex. Superior olive is, or superior olivary nucleus is one of the structures. Okay, just a distractor here. So we have the arrow pointing to a small little area, and if you're not sure. So that's it for this question. Okay, we can do a lot of discussion, but you just have an alcoholic who has Wernicke encephalopathy at the minimum. Uh, we don't have any evidence of the confabulation for Korskoff, but the but the mammillary bodies would still be affected. He's clearly got the confusion, okay, um, consistent with Wernicke, GGT elevated for the alcohol. And in addition to the mammillary bodies, just the medial dorsal nucleus of the thalamus, classically affected. That's it, okay? So if you liked this question, I'll obviously put out more content. Subscribe to my channel, and I appreciate your time. That's it.